Hey YouTube, uh, I just wanted to take a second and get some video of my latest aquaponics project, the uh, aquarium top aquaponics box. I wanted to shoot some video of this and kind of explain some of the features of the system because I've been experimenting with this stuff for about two years and uh, nearly everything that you can see here has some sort of function and I'd like to give an explanation of it to help out some of the people who are just getting started off and building systems and having trouble. So we'll start immediately with the box. Uh, this box is built out of plexiglass and you can see I did a really crappy job gluing it together but it does hold water. <coughs> it's watertight. Um, what I found with buying like small tote containers and things that you can get like at Target or Walmart is that over time the water pressure will bow them out and they don't tend to function as well. And especially if you have a type of bell siphon or drain in there, um, it can come loose or end up pointing the wrong way. And so I just try to avoid those altogether. It wasn't really that expensive to get the quarter inch P, uh, plexiglass, but I really don't like the way it looks. Um, so I'm going to go a different route, maybe use acrylic. But for now, this, this works fine. Uh, the second thing uh, for people who are getting started, you definitely want to find a hydro shop in your area and buy Hydroton. It's these little expanded clay pellets. Nothing works as good as that. Um, you, you'll see people using pea gravel and other types of rocks, and you really want to avoid that at all costs. It's really difficult to work with, and it doesn't tend to give very good results. Um, third component that's crucial is the bell siphon. Constructed here, you can find tutorials online that show you how to build one. It's really not that complicated. But what you'll see is it, um, it allows the water to fill up, and once it reaches a critical point, it closes the bell, creates a suction, and, and it'll exit out. I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the video, but it drains faster than it's being pumped in. It allows an ebb and flow, gives the plants air to their roots, and, uh, and keeps the system cycling. Right now I have it set to go. Uh, it does about a gallon every two minutes. Um, and I just have it running continuously, and I'm, I may adjust that. Um, another feature on the bell siphon is this neck that I put on there, this 90 degree neck. What you'll find sometimes when you build a bell siphon is that uh, it won't be able to create enough suction in the downforce when the water's coming out. So what you do is you restrict the downpipe, and in this case I restricted it by making it go 90 degrees, and that allows the pressure to build up and it will close up on the top of the bell and, and it will actually function. So if you're having problems with your bell siphon, definitely um, just restrict the, the out pipe a little bit in some way and you'll you'll see a difference. Uh, which leads us to this contraption here in the pickle jar. What I found in early experiments trying to build one of these uh, like on a desktop or on an aquarium is that the little pumps you can buy at Home Depot, little fountain pumps, will suck up food, they'll suck up um, the gravel, the, the gravel for the fish and it really is just a huge pain so what I've done is I've created a second siphon and this is just siphoned to this tank directly and then I put the pump in here running all by itself that way it, can, it still gets the water because as the water pumps out this siphon which isn't attached to anything is pulling water in and then it's just being pumped out by the pump and that's it's crucial you don't have to use a pickle jar you can use another smaller aquarium or something else and you can also put the pump on the sidewall but I found that it comes loose and falls off it's just it's much easier this way um, we'll move on to the aeration. In some of my early systems, I figured that the, the bell siphon would give enough aeration to keep the fish healthy, but that wasn't true. So in this system, I'm extremely over aerating it. I have two air bubblers in there uh, going full time. Now let's see what else. Oh, um, one of the things I really wanted to do with this system is to make it very easy to take apart and adjust. And so um, what you'll notice is nothing is connected anywhere. There's nothing nailed down, bolted down, even to the point that none of these pipes and PVC fittings are glued on. They're just loosely attached. Um, well, not loosely, but they're, they're not attached with any type of glue or anything. So I can take this apart at any time. If I want to change out grow beds, I can put a different grow bed on here. Um, if it's higher or lower, I can cut that PVC pipe to adjust and refit everything. And what I was really surprised to find is nothing's leaking. There's no leaks at all of any type in any of these, and the siphon works perfectly fine without any type of glue. Um, so yeah, so at any point I can change out the grow medium, I can put a new box on there, um, and, it, and it will still function. And, and that's what I really like about it, is that I can, I can fully adjust the system at any point. Uh, <clears throat> so that's kind of it uh, for this video. This system's been running for about a week. 
Um, I just put the seeds in like two days ago. I'm going to try to grow some tomatoes in this. But really what this whole experiment is for is um, I want to find out what the max fish capacity is to, to you know, to be able to, what the max 10 gallons of water can support as far as a fish population on an aquaponic system. So once the system is cycled and the, the bacteria levels are right, I'm just going to start adding fish and I'm just going to keep going until something collapses and see what kind of plants I can grow and see uh, how many fish something like this can support. And I'll probably be changing grow mediums uh, to a different box with more volume during that process, but I'll definitely keep the video updates coming. Uh, let's see, there was one other thing. Anyways, I'll get to some, I'll get to the other stuff in another video, uh, but thanks for watching, and, uh, if you want to keep on top of these videos, please subscribe or link, like, post, Facebook, whatever, and thanks for watching. I'll see you later.